Earnings season is really picking up this week. We're going to get a lot of Dow components, a lot of banks, and a couple other big name stocks that I know everybody's going to be watching. So let's dive right into the action because you don't want to mess around this week. Our first stock is Selenese. I'm pretty sure we talked about this at least one of the other quarters. They only have the two misses. You can see barely see that one in 2012, and then they had one in 2013. This is the chemical side, and you can see that big rally in late 2016. This is part of the Trump trade. So we'll see if they can keep up this great record, but this is definitely one I'm gonna be watching on the chemical side. Our second stock is the first of the fangs. Netflix is leading off the fang this quarter. Um, it has this great record. It hasn't missed in years, even going back further than this five-year chart. Shares are at the highs. You know the deal with this one. Um, you're gonna need to just watch what they say about subscribers and other things, but this is gonna be one everybody's gonna be watching. Then we're going on to another great track record, Johnson & Johnson. I know I talked about them last quarter. Somehow they keep doing it. Um, and the shares have spiked higher once again. So this is one, if you're interested in the healthcare side, that's always very, very consistent. Another healthcare stock, yes, United Health Group. This is on the insurance side, but this is one of the best charts on the street. I love showing it every quarter. This is Obamacare in action for the health insurers. They haven't, uh, you know, had any problems with their revenue and with earnings. So you can see shares are at those highs. We'll see what they say this quarter, but this is just a great track record. And then we're going to round it down with Goldman Sachs. Now, I don't think I've included this one before, but it has the one miss in 2015. But those shares have now spiked. They're out of this narrow range. Uh, they're off those highs, but you got to be interested in Goldman if the economy is going to be picking up here. So it'll be interesting to see what they say and if Goldman is back, back to maybe what it was before the Great Recession when it was one of the street's darlings. So that's just to start off this week. And as I said, going forward, there's plenty of other action going to be taking place with a lot of Dow components. Now, if you're interested in the options trades this week, be sure to check out Zach's Live Trader over on YouTube. My colleague Dave Bartosiak is over there. He's covering options trades on a lot of these hot stocks. So be sure to check that out. Also, as I said, I'll be covering the rest of these earnings reports all week long. Check in for further videos this week and all throughout earnings season. I'll see you then.